As social media usage increases, researchers are looking at the quality of use and its impact on people's self-worth. Brooke Katz tonight reporting on new research out showing that teenagers are more likely to feel better about themselves if they interact with others on social media. It's the new way of communicating. Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Don't know when I met you, but I met you. And teens use it the most. It starts conversations. But new research suggests that interaction may be more about the quality of use rather than the quantity. I feel like it's entertainment, yes, but it's got a lot of social aspects to it. Like. Uh, it brings me and my friends closer. Researchers at UT Dallas are looking at how lurking or passive use of social media might be more harmful than active use. Some social network sites are designed to be more photo centric. Um, and we tend to, as users of these platforms, put our best foot forward um, and present highly curated versions of ourselves. This feature of social network sites invites upward social comparison. Researchers say social comparison can lead to what's known as FOMO, or fear of missing out. Fear of missing out, in turn, is then associated with lower levels of well-being. Um, specifically, we found that it's linked to uh, higher levels of depressive symptoms, lower levels of global self-worth. While these teens in South Lake agree that lurking could cause depression, they believe other things may be at work. I think social media definitely can cause it a lot of the time, but I don't think it's just from that. If you're already feeling like left out at school or with your friends, then like looking at those pictures online is going to like make that feeling worse. If the results surprise you, researchers believe this phenomenon could be generational. If they're actively interacting with other people, that might be a way of kind of getting their social needs um, fulfilled. So that might help with, you know, their general social development. Researchers say it needs further study, but being connected is ultimately good for teens and adolescents, depending on how they're using social. Media. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News.